What's up everybody? Welcome back. Um, I'm Abe, this is Eve Online, and I just figured we should talk just a little bit about the ship fit if you are going to run a T1 hauler, or any hauler really. Um, specifically, the, the, the point I want to make in this video is one primary point, which is if you use a micro warp drive, you can get yourself into warp much faster than your ship might let you lead you to believe. So that's the primary point. Um, and secondary point is just, it's always a good idea to tank yourself out. So if I was going to do this myself, I would probably make sure I had a bunch of passive shield, either extenders or protection of some kind, and a little bit of emphasis on kinetic, if not a large emphasis on kinetic, because catalysts are a destroyer that favor kinetic damage and they are often used in ganking. So, um, having a good protection against that. Now, even with all of these, my defense is only 4.4K, so I didn't drop a lot of money on this. I didn't put a Tech 2 anything on there, in part because this character just can't fly Tech 2. Um, they are more for trading than anything else. I added a damage control at the expense of cargo space, and then to get that cargo space back and then some, I added some Tech 1 rigs for cargo hold optimization. So, you might be asking uh, why why does this micro warp drive help at all? So let's, uh, you know, do I have the money for this? Yeah, I do. All right. Um, okay. Basically, even though the ship shows 15, almost 16 seconds of line time, actually, let me just cut the cut most of these things away here and if we're lucky we may get blown up so let me just buy well wait a minute I might even have I've got a lot of leftover refuse here unsorted nope stuff in the sellable category nope oh yeah all right nothing there and the item hanger doesn't have anything either. Okay, well, I tried. So, um, let's see, the ship hanger. Oh, I already have one here. All right, I've got a badger. So, that'll save me even more money. I don't need to buy the Terra. Let's just buy this micro warp drive. Although, this may already have a micro warp drive. It does. Okay, well, so anyway, this is good. I could have looked at that, but I didn't, and here we are. So, we've got our Tech 1 hauler. I've got a couple of just expanded cargo holds on there. And just to be ready, before I undock, I'll open up my Instant Docks and Undocks bookmark folder. And we'll go from there. So, the moment you undock, you're going to be spit out into a group of very angry people who want to do bad things to you. So, to prevent them from doing bad things to you, you want to hit your undock and warps within 50, you know, like maybe right to it. And you go right away, right? You don't have to stop, you don't have to align. And then, yep, Ella says hello. So, we're going to warp to zero on this station and you notice that I click my micro warp drive and then I click it off so you can see I'm gaining speed here and then I'm instantly in warp so let's look at this again this may not be a good example just because my align time is maybe pretty good but what this does is by by initiating your micro warp drive, it gives you a boost in speed. You accelerate faster than the ship normally would accelerate. And the moment this six second cycle for your micro warp drive times out, you are already aligned and ready to go. Generally speaking, in order to get to warp, the longer aspect of it is not turning the ship, but getting the ship up to 80% of what its speed should be. So let's imagine that we just popped out of this station, although right now we're not moving at all. Boy, 
Look at all the smoke I'm putting off. This is not a clean hauler. All right, so let's let's imagine that I just jumped up, popped out of a gate, and uh, we can do that. Let's go to Ikuchi. All right, so we're gonna jump through Ikuchi. Probably should have, yeah, it's 44 AU at four and a half AU per second. Either way, and then we can set ourselves a destination back to uh, to Jita. So this will give you a couple more examples of, of what I'm talking about. So again, the moment you, you hit warp to initiate your micro warp drive and then turn it off. And you'll see how this works in a second here. Shuttle going in with me. Okay. So let's say we want to warp to this station. Okay, we're we've got our timer ticking. We're in we're in in cloak. Warp to zero. And normally it would take 12 seconds, but we start this, and if you pay attention here, it's got to reach this line before we enter warp. Six, boom, boop, there we go. So we're able, this doesn't show a good difference in speed there, but we are able to enter warp before we otherwise normally would have. So uh, as an example, let's just try to warp to zero there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12, and then we're in warp. This is an, a non-scientific, I guess I could use the timer on my watch, but if we show info here, cycle time, maybe it's not six seconds, maybe it's 10 seconds, yeah. So this minimizes what in our previous fit was a 16 second align time and it brings us down to 10. Let's see if there are variations change that at all. Cycle time, 10 seconds, no. So this is basically buying us two seconds out of, so there we go. Activate it, deactivate it. And you know, it works for ships with much longer line times and it just drops it down essentially to 10. So if you otherwise would align in 30 seconds, this is a significant boon if it's 16 to 20. Those are six to 10 seconds that you would otherwise be sitting and vulnerable at a gate where people are usually waiting for you. So you're coming up on Jita, you've got your, your cargo and it's full of skill books and you know somebody's contract. Instead of warping right to it like this, you would go to your Insta dock and you'd activate your warp drive, you'd deactivate it, and if I could zoom in really easily, you'd see that before we reach that line, bloop, there, now we're already in warp. And then just to be ready, now you have to be ready right when you come out of warp to hit the dock button. And I'll zoom out a little bit so you can see kind of where it drops me. Instead of right at the outer edge of the ring, um, right in front of... Jita, I'm like somewhere on top, which, you know, obviously there are other people up here as well, but I'm not in this clusterfuck down here. So, all right, so, so that's, that's the point I wanted to make. Use a micro warp drive, activate it, deactivate it upon trying to enter warp doing anything, and uh, you'll be, you'll be entering warp probably faster. There are some ships and situations where that will not make it faster for you and may even slow you down, but if you have a large, unwieldy, not very agile ship, this can help you. So, so there you go. I hope that was helpful, and uh, thanks for watching, and I will catch you in the next video.